I'm the managing director of Svensk Form, who is a Swedish design organization promoting good Swedish design internationally. We have an exhibition for the third consecutive year that is called Swedish Love Stories. And the idea is to share with the viewers an idea of what goes on in Sweden right now, contemporary Swedish lifestyle and design, and to transmit the feeling of Sweden and Swedish materials and love stories between producers and designers. And this year the theme is Welcome to our home. We got a uh, very fu funny design brief which was uh, to uh, show what Swedishness is about. And we wanted to, um, instead of showing off no picnics so much, we wanted to uh, enhance the, the producers and the designers at, so they, we wanted to lift them a little bit, not to only stand on the ground. Um, we, used, we wanted to use only Swedish materials, and we also played with the thing, the team that was home to us. We built a very large barn instead, just to, for fun. The exhibition is a little bit about that too, Swedish materials, it's the wood, the paper, ceramic, textiles, and we also bring one region to bring the local flavors into the international perspective, local to the global. It's hard to say, but there are various, I mean, for all good designers, you have all these ergonomic aspects or the economical or the aesthetical and functional, but today you also have to have more of an ethical and also thinking of the ecological imprint and there are many challenges to be, but mainly to live with it and this poetic, you have to be touched by it also, the emotional impact together with all these other aspects. It's a challenge to be a designer. We are participating in Swedish love stories and uh, the producers here beside me, uh, Susanne and uh, the company is Jashnas and we made um, a bench system and a bookshelf. Jashnas is really a fantastic company working with wood and makes, I mean the finishing is beautiful I have to say. So it was quite natural for me to, to try to design something with that that material um, and also but I also wanted to add sort of the more the more economic thinking in producing and also uh, the sort of ecological thinking so actually this particular uh, bench system is made just by one small part and then this part is then repeated and moved and in this way you can really create a whole system just by one, one, one small part of the bench. I always work with ideas, that the idea is the most important thing in the project. So it's not starting out with the shape, it's starting out with the idea. I think it's important that you can feel a challenge to develop, but also that the designer can feel what is the sense, the, the, uh, the issue about the yesness. And, and I think well, when we are here now, I think the, the collaboration with, with Monica is just a success. Because it's, it's really that you understand Yashness and we are getting a challenge through you. And uh, I think it's... Uh, so I'm looking forward to continue that collaboration. I present some um, like uh, furniture that I made from ties, silk ties. And it's all about like the story to try to preserve things and give it like a new meaning. And um, it's, I have three products, one lamp, one chair, and one uh, seating, uh, like puff, puffy uh, sitting furniture, like a social furniture. We can, you can sit uh, many people around it to have like meetings or yeah, different ways of using it. I'm showing some lighting products which um, have, a, they have a more um, personal uh, expression. Uh, I work as a craftsman and that's my background so my uh, my working way of working is to uh, to try and engage the viewer uh, to offer something that has a, a depth uh, that isn't possible to find in, uh, in work that's mass-produced. Uh, the human element is very important to me and you'll find that in uh, the work I'm presenting here. I get really inspired by just seeing different materials like it can be like if I just go to like a junkyard or something I see a lot of stuff and I just get inspired from that and I usually I work with putting things in a new context and uh, try to see the possibilities for materials. I work with uh, with material from 
coming from my crafts background, uh, there's an enormous potential uh, in every material to to develop new ways to communicate with the with the viewer. And there's so many areas uh, to work with your your hands and producing uh, unique pieces that industry, despite all the technology that's there, just can't compete. For me, being in Milan, uh, it gives a credibility to my work for the people who buy my work at home. It's like setting a quality, a stamp quality of quality. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't mean that I will be exporting to Japan. It just means that uh, I'm so small. People who are interested in buying my stuff, they're always a bit uncertain because uh, I'm not a big brand name. But being here gives a, gives them a, a security. Especially to, to say that you have exhibited at Super Studio, not just like in Tortona or not just like here during the design week, I think just especially this place. So I think that too, it's really great. <laughs>